Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My channel is called Ink Stitch and my name is Inga. Um, I talk here all about cross stitch, sometimes crochet, very rarely. Um, so yeah, mainly, mainly cross stitch and everything cross stitch related. Um, I do sometimes some life updates um, in case you're interested. But that is it really. Um, thank you so much for stopping by again if you're my current subscriber. Thank you so much if you're new as well. Um, it's nice to meet you. I hope you will enjoy what you see. Um, if you're not sus subscribed yet, um, please press subscription button down below, bell button to be notified of my videos, like button, and let's get into it. So I debated for a little while whether I'm going to do this floss tube video, um, mainly because of what's happening in the world. And some floss tubers I know have chosen not to, which I personally really appreciate and I totally understand. Now for me, um, I haven't done a video in a couple of months so I have a few things to catch up on. Um, also, um, yay, anniversary is coming up of my three year floss tube um, anniversary. So in March, so I thought I, kind of, I can't really miss it. Um, and I'll probably discuss some of the kind of life um, issues and all of that towards the end. So if you don't want to listen to anything uh, or sort of my thoughts on what's happening, you're very welcome to kind of tune out once I'm done with my cross stitch. Um, I'll just kind of do life updates and things at the end. That's what I normally tend to do. So you could watch the cross stitch bit and then tune in and or tune out at the end. Um, I do. I am a part kind of a, a little bit apologetic in terms of the way I look. Um, I don't have my eye makeup today. I just done sort of face makeup and that's it. Um, I also have a bit of a sore throat, so my voice isn't great. But that's all of the sort of introductions. We are two minutes into it, so not too bad. Okay, so there's been quite a bit of stitching. Um, I had two months of stitching. Now, I have kept track of what I've stitched on and how much I've stitched on um, and what I stitched on in January, what I stitched on in February. I'll probably just kind of bundle them all up. Um, I hope that's okay with you. And we will start with whatever I've got my notes here if I'm looking down because I've got my notes. So let's pick the first one from my bin. I've got a little package here. <laughs> I've got all of the bits I need in here filming in my bedroom today so it's a little bit different but I kind of like the white clear background and the light I have a skylight above us that's why the light is really good and I've got my main light on so okay doke let's get into it <laughs> um okay so this is a new start which I've started on kept track of that as well for you in case you're interested I started this on the 15th of January 2022 no rhyme or reason for it. Um, I didn't need to start it, but I wanted to. So if you watched my December floss tube, I believe, um, I got gifted a little bit of money for Christmas from my grandparents and I decided to buy myself um, a kit from Hawkins Hobbies. And it is for, it is for the Star of Christmas by Bella Filipina. And I decided to start it because it's gorgeous and I love, love, love it. I love anything Christmas. I love anything sparkly, blue shades. Um, so yeah, I thought, why not? Now, once I've started looking into this, I came across a couple of problems. Number one, the chart says it's um, 172 by 402 stitches over here. Well, that is not correct. Um, it's only a few stitches off, um, mainly I believe it was in height, which kind of made it, well, that obviously made my calculations a little bit off. Um, number two, she's a big girl. She's a big, big, big girl. So any of the normal cuts, fabric cuts, went big enough. Coco, if my camera is wobbly, it's because my cat is running about and moving the tripod. Hopefully, you won't fall down. And she's literally stood in front of me watching me now. Um, now, as I say, she's too big for normal cuts, but only a little bit too big. So anything that's sort of 
like this star at the top or these little stars at the bottom make it too big. So I've still picked a fabric I had, which will be probably a tad too small with a very tiny margin. So what I'm gonna have to do, I think, I'm gonna keep the top star, I think, or maybe not, I'm not sure, maybe I'll remove it and just kind of reduce the number of stars or remove all of the stars from the bottom and just dot them around the sides instead because I have enough fabric on the sides. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll remove all of the stars here at the bottom. Now it will still be narrow margins, but better than nothing. I don't have a massive progress on it. Oh, I thought I've done more than that, but, <laughs> and I have no clue where's the top, where's the bottom. So just gonna go with it. I have no clue where I am with this. Um, this was ages ago. Here we are. That's my small little start. The stitches are so neat. Um, I stretched this on my uh, on my scroll frame. So and normally stitches are very neat on that. And it's linen, so. Now this is opalescent linen. Um, I think I might have a little note where it's from. Yes, I do. Um, surprise, surprise, Barbara Al Creations. I've got a feeling I've stitched do you remember the whale, boy whale, I've stitched maybe two years ago, three years ago, potentially? It was on a very similar fabric. I reckon it was the same fabric, you know? Um, anyway, so this is called Lavender Bouquet. This is 36 count. So obviously this is 36 count and it's already tight. Shh, Coco, and it's already tight. So the fabric size is 27 inches by 19 inches or 70 by 50. Um, and it's Edinburgh linen. I'm stitching this two over two. Yeah, two over two. Um, so that's my little start on, on this. It's not my priority. I have a few other ladies going um, at the moment, but I just couldn't wait to start because I had the kit. Um, let's see how many stitches I've done because I've written everything everything down where is it um here we are so i have managed to do hmm something's gone wrong in my formula calculation area this can't be 171 stitches. This must be more. This must be more. Well, actually, it might be no. Well, I've written down 171, so we'll go with that. It feels like more. I feel like I've done more. I think there's an error in my calculation spreadsheet. So that's one of the whips. And this was January start. Then we've got my Elf Fairy by Mirabilia. It's a kit. I got the kit from Hawkins Hobbies again when I went to um, Stitching and Knitting Show in Alexandra Palace in London back in October, I think. I love her and I need to stitch more on her. So this is where she is. Now I'm stitching this on the whatever the fabric was included in this kit, which is a thing natural linen 32 count. Coco. <sighs> My cat is going nuts. I hope we will be able to film this properly. Um, anyway, so I think what I've done, so I want to say about somewhere around here, maybe the Christmas tree or the wing. I'll insert where I was before. I cannot remember what I worked on because it was so long ago. But this is where she is. Um, I worked on her in January. I've not worked on her in February. Um, and I'm just trying to look up so we could see how much I've stitched on her. I have done 435 stitches. So I reckon I've done this, you know, and a little bit of the wing maybe. Love her. I don't have any plans to stitch on her right now. So that's that. Um, 
And the next one I want to say is a new start. Um, let me just have a look if it is. Uh, yes, it is. I started it on 13th of January 2022. And it is by Silver Creek Samplers. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous chart called Hissed Off. Now I am changing all of the colors. Um, I'm basically using whatever I have in my stash. I'm trying to change the cat a little bit to match my beautiful kitten Coco, who's going mental at the moment. Um, and then everything else is just whatever I had in my stash, sort of similar shades. <clears throat> so I had quite a few comments actually on my Instagram about my conversion um, and even the designer commented that she likes my conversions. So. Yeah, no, I'm stitching it on the same fabric. I've done my own design. So this is my own design. It's available on, in my Etsy shop, link down below, but I'm doing it on the same fabric, um, sort of folded it. So here is my progress. I love it. This is quite a small count. Um, quite a small count. I'm not too sure exactly. I must have like a little, a little note. Yes, I do. So this is 38 counts Weigard by XG Design. And it's called Green Apple. Um, so in case you're interested, my conversion is from what I've stitched so far, I've used, um, classic color works ruby slippers for the for the red part which a lot of people loved so this is what I used great variegation and then for the actual kitty I used two flosses that were included in um, Gilmore Girls autumn retreat box from Black Needle Society now it says it's special edition, so I'm not sure if this is something you can get. Um, I would presume no, but I'm sure you can find something similar if you want to. So Colin Cotton, this one's a deer hit me for the lighter, lighter parts. And then this is um, Copper Boom. <laughs> Here we are, beautiful, beautiful two shades. Here we go. So they make up my kitty. Now I have made some mistakes, some were accidental, some weren't. Now, if you look, well, I'll put the chart away. Um, kind of can see. If you look at the H here, the H is longer. Mine is shorter. So that's mistake number one. This was accidental. Mistake number two, which you won't be able to see in here. Can you see there's more spacing here than there is here between the O? I mean, it looks like it's been purposely done, but it hasn't been. It was an accident. I've basically had to fudge here a little bit, but it will all work out. Nobody knows. I love it. I love, love, love this whip. And I love my color conversion. Um, it worked out very well. I have another one from this series, which I plan on stitching, which is this one here. Using the same sort of colors if I have enough left. And then I'm also planning on stitching on the same fabric, this one. So I would have all three and I could frame them all together. Well, separately, but sort of ha have them hanging together. Um, now, did I write how much I've stitched on this? Good question. Uh, oh goodness me, we're 14 minutes in already. Um, did I write how much I've stitched on it? Very good question. So, hissed off. I have done oh quite a lot 1309 stitches in January nothing in February then we have a new start again this was a new year start for me and also um, Wibgo numbers were drawn for January and for me I remember which number it was but the one that it landed on was a new start and it was obviously the first of January so I thought well you know, new year, new start. It also fulfills my WIBGO, WIB, uh, WIBGO goal 
Oh, it's quite difficult to say. Anyway, so I've decided to stitch on this, which I had for ages. I had this kitted up for literally ages. This is by Clouds Factory. And then they provide you different letters so you can write titles on the cassettes. Um, now, cassettes I still remember. Um, CDs didn't come till quite late, quite late in Lithuania. Um, everything was kind of a little bit delayed, no surprise there. Um, just trying to see if I have information about the fabric. I must do somewhere. I'm pretty certain this is Barbara Al Creations. No, I know this is Barbara Al Creations. I just don't know what colour this is. So we'll ignore that. And then I have done. Not so good today, am I? I have done. Oh no! Dropped all of my flosses! Oh no! Go back in! So let's go back. Uh, this is my. really today is not going well so <laughs> um this is my start i have done one cassette started it on the first of january love how this orange pops off of the fabric gorgeous fabric as well now how much i've stitched on it let me tell you let me tell you i've stitched 693 stitches in january nothing in february love this whip i've basically over the last couple of months just increased my pile of whips because it's what we do right i've just got some squash here mm -hmm. um because i'm a little bit ill sore throat when i have sore throat normally i have very dry mouth so <clears throat> Um, next whip is actually um, my February whip that was a part of uh, February's whip go. Again, the numbers were drawn, and for me, one of I have two. Obviously, two. If you don't know what whip go is, it's um, been created by Anne Marie. There's a whole Facebook group. If you willing to look into it, please do so. It's great. Um, there was just something flying. Um, it's great. I love it. And for me, one of the goals for February was to stitch 1,000 stitches on my Galliana bookcase. And hopefully I can find where I was before. If I can, I'll insert those photos. And this is where I am right now. Hopefully you can see. Let's see, that's better. I'm fairly certain that I've basically done all of this. So this border was done and I think this this column was done maybe in half of this column and then the rest I've done now. Love this. I'm stitching this on Uno Momento. I'm stitching this on XG Designs 32 Count Belfast Linen Deep Red. And I'm stitching it using Mrs. Sader's popcorn silk. This is the silk. Um, I have no rhyme or reason how I stitch with it. I literally just cut off a piece and go with it. Um, I, do, I don't do one leg and then go back and do the other. I do a full cross with this, with a sort of variegated thread. And I have done... It started raining. I wonder if you can hear it. Um, I have done... How long do you reckon it's going to take me to actually find it? Here we go. Um, 1,017 stitches. So I fulfilled my whip go. Whip go go. For some reason I cannot say that properly. Whip go go. Whip go go. Whip go go. Whip go go. Sounds weird. Um, so that was my next whip. Um, got quite a few more whips. <laughs> There's been a lot of stitching. Um, my next whip is um, February's whip. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen quite a few updates on this. 
This was again on my Wibgo board and the goal for February was to stitch seven days on this. Well, the goal was to stitch seven days, my personal goal, seven days on a full coverage whip. And to me, this is full coverage. So here we are. And it is Mirabilia's Baker's Wife. Um, and I will insert where I was before. I have done a lot of work. So exactly seven days on her. I think it's over 3,000 stitches. So this is where she is at the moment and all the glory from far away and then we'll get closer. So what I've stitched this time is all of the green. So what it, well, it's kind of electric, it's not green, is it green, blue, green? Um, anything that's in that color I've stitched in these seven days. I quite like stitching this because what I tend to do, it's all block stitching, can you see? So what I tend to do, I tend to do like, trace it around and then just fill in the inside, trace it around, fill in the inside. And I've done that everywhere with each color. Um, so yeah, that's where I am. I'm not touching this anytime soon again because I got a little bit fed up, I have to say. Um, I'm not a monogamous stitcher. I think this is quite obvious from today's pile of whips um I don't know I just seven days straight I think I can stitch seven days straight on something sometimes I do that with my African sunset I've stitched like 60 days straight once um if I only stitch an hour if I properly stitch three four hours in the evening then we have a problem um it's too much and now I'm a little bit fed up of it so I don't really want to touch it again and I have done 3,196 stitches. Right. Now, next whip is something you haven't seen for over a year because I've not touched on this in 2021. But it was on my Wibgo board and it was drawn for January's goal. When it was drawn, of course it had to be drawn, like the first number that was picked for January. Um, and you'll know why in a moment. So the chart I'm talking about is, I wonder if I have a cover, yes I do. It's this Totoro from um, Ghibli Studios. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's... Um, Ghibli Studios is an uh, animation studio and they have beautiful, beautiful animated films um, out there. They've been out there for many, many years. Some of them have been out for a couple of decades. This is, I think, the actual Totoro. It's not called Totoro. Um, the actual animated film, but it's been out for definitely about 20 years, I would say. Um, if I'm wrong... I apologize, but I think it's been out for a long time. It's beautiful. If you have kids, um, you know, they're all animated films that are there to teach children something, um, either like a moral kind of, you know, lesson or something like that. I love it, love it, love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, so I started this in 20... So this is my second oldest whip. I started this in 20... 18. Wow, I did start this in 2018. In no, 2019. 2019 January. Um the only problem I had I messed up somewhere at the top, majorly, majorly, majorly. Didn't realise, continued stitching and then realised because everything was off. So I kept having to take out maybe th three or four rows out of each and then move it. It was a nightmare. So I got so fed up and I didn't stitch on it at all last year. Then there was an area that I wasn't happy with, the way my stitches were laying. So I couldn't look at that area. So my goal for Wibgo was to frog that big chunk, restitch it and continue stitching on this whip because I love it. It's gorgeous. And I've done it, guys. I've done it. And I'm so happy. I love this. I need to put it on a frame and stitch on this more. So, 
it's quite big um yeah quite big so the area that i frogged was and you can kind of see because the stitches aren't as flat they're a bit fluffier let me see how oh, how can i show you this better it's quite a big piece um is this zipped up because there's some beads in there don't want it to go everywhere okay so <clears throat> i have frogged all of and you can as i say you can kind of see because stitches are fluffier they lay beautifully they're you know lovely looking it's just they don't yeah they don't lay flat flat um i mean i'm not very happy with all of the stitches um i don't know whether it's the fabric or this was the whip that i picked up after a long break i um, mean years like decades uh, well a decade probably of stitching not stitching um and it has blended thread somewhere down here so it looks messy i think blended thread anyway i've frogged all of this from here all the way up here all of the blue and i restitched it and it looks gorgeous right now i also frogged yeah i frogged the inside this yellow and i restitched it and i'm much happier with that and that's it and i think i've done a row here at the bottom of sort of pale blue but you can't really see because it's all blues blues and whites but i keep having to fudge everything basically with this whip um I am going to frame this because I think it speaks for. Hi everybody, um, clearly my microphone has died, as always technical difficulties. So I'm going to do a voiceover for the rest of the video, I hope that's okay with you. Um, I just didn't want to really refilm it. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to remember what I was talking about. And yeah here we are so obviously here i was still talking about um my whip that i will be framing it at some point it will be done um even though i'm not 100 percent happy with all the stitches the way they're laying but you know it, it's too beautiful not to do anything with it so um yeah um <laughs> I'm not sure what I was talking here. It's um, it's a mystery to me as well. There was clearly a lot of rambling, a lot of rambling, a lot of rambling. I'm kind of trying to read my lips, what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my new whip. So the next whip I'm going to show you here is a new start. Um, I started this in the month of February. I've started it on the 23rd, 3rd of February. Um, it is called, the chart is called um, All Are Equal in Death and it is by Modern Folk Embroidery. Now originally I thought this would be so much smaller but it turned out to be quite a big whip. Here it is. Here's my progress. I've done a couple of days on this. Um, so you know not too many um, but enough um now the fabric here is from x2 designs and i will be showing that to you a little bit later in my haul um and i've got it on my scroll frame here it is it's beautiful i love it um i don't know if you can hear the rain but it is raining at the moment um so probably if the microphone picks it up you will hear it too um i love this whip it's so easy to stitch um i love it i think i've used by an accident four threads in certain areas instead of three three over two um uh, but there we are have to work with what we've got and i think i was just looking into how much i've stitched on it and i have done 688 stitches in the month of February so only a couple of stitches next whip is my African sunset I have done uh, 662 stitches in January and 308 in February um, I've stitched sort of towards the bottom toward, by the elephant 
um, and I will insert so you could see where I was before. I'm not stitched too much on it this time. Um, I mean, I struggle being a monogamous stitcher, so, and I have calculated that if I stitched 30 days straight on this whip, I would finish it in a month. Um, but I don't really want to do that. I'm not in a rush. So here I'm just showing you where I've been stitching it, just in that corner there. Those rounds in the background, a um, bit of the tree, and worked my way down. Love, love, love this whip. It's one of my all-time favourites. It doesn't look that big when I show you on floss tube, but it's actually quite a big piece. Um, here I'm just faffing, trying to find um, a number of stitches stitched on this. It's so weird doing a voiceover, and I know it's quite strange for you as well, probably half an hour voiceovers, but I'm definitely not refilming this because I've, it's not daylight anymore. So, um, My next whip I'm showing you here is Love is in the Air by Josephine Wall, charted by Haid. Um, now I'm stitching this 10 stitches, and I have done in January 2,400, 1, 1, 2410 stitches and 519 in February. So here it is. It's a big boy. It's a big, big, big boy. So I was struggling to show you um, up close. Now what I've been stitching is just kind of trying to get through that page here that I'm pointing. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I was joking about my neighbours who were singing in the corridor. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> um, so I've been stitching all the way around across here. I've been trying to get those sun rays stitched. My method is I pick one of the colours from the sun rays and there's maybe one stitch in each sun ray and then continue that thread across. Then I pick another thread that has a lot of stitches stitch that across, then pick again another thread where there's only a couple of stitches and I alternate. I pick confetti, then not confetti, confetti, non-confetti, so that it's not too boring for me to stitch and not too tedious. Um, so yeah, I, I love, love, love this whip. I just don't have enough time to stitch on it at the moment, but um, things might change. <clears throat> so yeah, I love this whip. It's beautiful. It's not too confetti heavy. There's still confetti. Obviously it's heaven and earth designs, but it's not as confetti heavy as other whips that I, that you know, that you might have from Haid. Um, here you can see up close up my face, which isn't very flattering, but here we are. What can we do? <laughs> um, and hopefully I will remember to insert all the photos of where I was before for each whip. <clears throat> Here I'm just blabbering the usual. The usual. Right, so I think that was all of my whips. Um, I'm going to get into my haul. Um, there's a few fabrics, there's a few other things. So here I'm just showing you what I've got. Um, I've got a couple of fabrics from x Designs. And the first fabric is... Drum roll. Come on, come on me. Come on. Show them your fabrics, Inga. Show them your fabrics. Enough talking. Okay, so here I'm showing you the sample that came with the fabrics. They always send me some little samples if you order from Extra Designs, um, which you can use maybe for ornaments or whatever it might be. I might have to stitch over one just to fit an ornament onto the sample. But So the first um, fabric I got in my mind is their signature um fabric at least that's in my mind it's called jack o lantern i wanted it ever since i saw lollipop stitches stitching um the witchy stitches claris from silence of the lambs chart on this fabric and i think it's gorgeous for that kind of 
for that creepy dark stitching. Um, the colour kind of isn't as yellowy, it's more mustardy. Um, and I'm just trying to kind of show you the real colour of it. Um, as it's more mustardy than kind of bright sunshine of yellow, um, if that makes any sense. Um, and then I got another one, which is this one. I only have half of it left because I'm using the other half on one of the whips that you've seen earlier. Um, love this one. It's sort of green, but it's not bright green. That's sort of realistic. That's it. That sort of represents it well. Um, gorgeous colour. I have no plans on what I'm stitching on it going forwards. Um, We'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, then I was about to show you um, a few other fabrics and I'll explain a little bit more in terms of how I got to get half them. Um, so Coffee Craft Fabrics, um, Gemma from Coffee Craft Fabrics um, has contacted me and asked if I would like to try this isn't it, but she asked if I would be would want to try some of her fabrics and potentially show them and share my opinion on Floss Tube, uh, which I was very happy to do. Um, I always want to support small businesses, so I thought, you know what, let's do it. Um, and I'll be showing those couple of fabrics now. Um, she does have a Facebook group. Um, all of her sort of sales I think are done mainly through Facebook. Um, I will leave the link down below. Come on Inga, come on, where is the fabric? Here I'm just the usual doing who knows what, talking to myself clearly. Here we are, finally. So, she sent me two fabrics. I've decided to keep one and the other one, well, you'll see what I'm about to do with the other one um, if you stay and watch this video a bit longer. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, so here I'm just explaining where you can find her, how I got about to finding out about her fabrics. Um, I think it's nice to find new fabric dyes, especially in the UK as we've kind of lost one of the companies that normally dyes, dyes it. Um, we used to have Crafty Kitten, um, she no longer trades and there was the whole situation with Crafty Kitten fabrics, um, but they no longer trade. So it's nice to find something new to add to the pool of fabrics that we can pick from, apart from our regular ones. Um, and I say all links will be down below. So. Love this one. This is the one that I'll be keeping. Um, it's this beautiful um, 32 count, no, this is 40 count linen. Um, it's sort of like a sky blue. Um, so I thought that will be great for any of my future, any of my future whips. I do have an idea of maybe stitching Lithuania, um, the chart I've shown you maybe in August, so that Lithuania is in the sky. Um, now the 11th of March is the day of independence in Lithuania, so I think I might start on that day. It's beautiful, beautiful. Here I'm just raving about the fabric, how gorgeous the modelling is and the colour. Um, I love it. I highly, highly recommend it. Here we are, again just rambling on, like I always do. <clears throat> um, and the colour is really true to the actual colour, um, the camera kind of represents it well. Um, also, I'm just thinking, I wish the camera picked up its own voice recording rather than just what's connected to it, it's a little bit annoying but Oh well, I hope you don't mind me doing a voiceover. <laughs> I hope that's okay with you. And then the second fabric is a 32 count even weave. Here we go. 
colors are sort of um, beige slash pink with a bit of purple. Um, this is more like, you know, when there was a dress and everybody saw different colors in the dress, I feel like this is it. Um, some people will see some cream with gray. I see pink with purple. Um, tell me what you see down in the comments below. Um, but this is the chart, this is the fabric that I'll, um, I won't be keeping and I'll tell you what I'll be doing with it a little bit later. Um, you always just smelling it. <laughs> Ah, I could be a weirdo. Could be a definite weirdo. Again, I'm just raving about the fabrics. Now, looking at it, it feels like I speak so slowly, but then at the same time, it feels like I do speak quite fast. So, who knows what's happening? At least you can't hear any of the um, packaging rambling or anything like that so i've just put it away packaged it all up ready for the next adventure and then let's see what else i'm showing you so i got a chart from just nan i got this on ebay um it wasn't too expensive um so this is <clears throat> the winter chart here, I remember that I've forgotten to tell you about the Facebook group, so I kind of just go over where you can find it, um, links below, and all of that good stuff about the fabrics. Normally, it takes me a, a day or so to upload all the links, so if you don't see them straight away, that's because I haven't uploaded them yet. Come on, Inga, show them the chart, show them the chart. <clears throat> So this is the chart that I got, it's the winter one. Um, I love blues, pinks, whites, winter. It's all about, you know, what I love. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of any of the other charts. They have like spring, summer, etc. Um, they don't particularly speak to me. So I only went with the winter one. Uh, and I believe I will be showing you other charts here. You see they've got one for each season it doesn't have any beads um, and it's across three pages as you can see um, it asks for four different Mill Hill beads as if it didn't come with any so I'm sure I can just purchase the four and here's the full list of what it needs so yeah I'm kind of slowly filling up my Just Nan collection And that is it with my purchases. I just re lip read that. <laughs> what else are we saying? Uh, I'm just talking about the mess in the world. And the mind is everywhere. So I was a little bit disjointed in this video. Just a little bit all over the place. And here you can see my face up close, which is not flattering at all. Not flattering. Oh, um, I was telling you about another purchase I made. Uh, and I've forgotten to show you originally. So this is a wrap for my big scroll frame. I got it off of Etsy and I'll link the shop down below. Um, I love it. It's gorgeous. And you will have seen this if you follow me on Instagram, TikTok and all of the other socials. Um, so here it is. It's sort of grey slash pinky wrap with um, dragonflies all over it. And I love it. I wanted to protect my biggest whip. Love is in the air. Um, just because it probably will take me 10 years to stitch. So, And then the inside is this beautiful baby pink. And it's got Velcro, so no matter obviously which size stretches you've got, 15 centimeter, 20, 30, um, it will still fit. Uh, I just didn't have time to sew anything myself and I thought I might as well support another business. So that was me doing that. <laughs> Love that wrap. It's great for keeping cats away, dust away, hairs away and any other potential accidents away from your whip. 
eventually I'll get a few others, but for now, that's that. Um, so next I thought I'll talk to you about my Etsy shop. Um, if you don't know yet, I make cross stitch accessories, um, thread drops, needle minders, thread organizers, um, and the last time in my previous video back in December, I believe, or whatever the last video was, I've shown you thread drops, and this time I thought I'll show you my thread organizers. Now all of these are available in my Etsy shop at the moment, so I'll link it down below uh, if you're interested, and I'll show you the first one in a moment. Um, so this is what they look like when they arrive, they're in little organza bags to protect them and so that you've got somewhere to store them. So this is the first one. I love these gorgeous, gorgeous sort of blue, they're not really blue, blue colours, they're more like um, electric blue, is that how you would call it? They're beautiful, you can use them as double sided version I would say so, they're beautiful on both sides. Um, now I do offer numbers now on my Etsy shop so you can add it as an option and I would do them here on the back instead of the front just because I don't want to not ruin the design but I just don't want to put it on the front I mean unless you really really want it on the front just drop me a message but I can do 1 to 18 numbers on the back or you do have an option on Etsy to pick DMC numbers and then you can put in the Etsy comments exactly which numbers you want or any other floss numbers and any of my numbers are like stickers so they can be removed um, and you can replace them with something else later. Now resin is very grateful um, in terms of you can write with a whiteboard marker on it and it won't come off um, as in rub off by an accident but then you can get it off with um, dunking a bit of um, cotton water and just rubbing it off or you know it, like um screen you know those little um tissues that you have for cleaning screens you can do clean it off and then just put any new numbers on so it's not like wood where once you write on it that's it it stays you can write on it with a white board marker and then it will come off eventually now this one was inspired by my hiking in Dartmoor um, National Park last year so I've used sort of foresty colours, greens and yellows and whites and that kind of thing, smoky feel. I love this one. I think a lot of people loved it. Again, it's beautiful from both sides. And again, I can do numbers. There's an option to add that on my NC shop. So that was that one. Again, rambling a little bit, the usual, because it's me. Uh, I'm going a little bit cuckoo here, doing the voiceover. Luckily my kitten isn't here, so she's not interrupting us. And then the next one is this one. I love this one. Um, it's one of my all-time favourites. There's so many different colours. Purples, reds, whites, golds, pinks. It's just gorgeous. I love, love, love this one. Adore it. So beautiful. Again... Um, is double sided so it can um, use and kind of some people like to hang them uh, I had some comments somebody said they just liked to hang it and have some threads from the bottom as a decoration in their craft room which is a lovely idea again there is an option to do numbers on that one if you want, wanted them and then there's maybe a couple more So, come on, Inga. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking when you watch it. I think this is the one where I show you Lithuanian one, um, which I will be taking off of my shop soon in a moment, so you won't be able to purchase it. I decided to keep it for myself. Um, so, um, 11th of March, I've mentioned, is a big day for Lithuania, Independence Day, and I've used our flag colours, um, which are yellow, green and red. I think I'll keep that for the new start that I'll be doing in March, so 
I will be taking that off of my shop soon. Uh, it will. It might be off by the time this video goes up. Um, and then the next one is highly anticipated, um, highly requested actually. Um, da, 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 boss Princess. Um, it's very reflective, obviously, because of the um, vinyl in insert. Um, I love these colours, it's sort of muted, um, so it's not overpowering the actual Boss Princess um, insert. As the usual glossy, I don't have a logo on the back yet, but there will be a logo if somebody purchases it. And again, I can do numbers on the back, uh, 1 to 18, DMC or any other floss numbers. It's your personal choice. Love this one. Uh, it turned out so well. So, so, so well. Um, so I think those were all of the thread organisers. As I mentioned, they are all available in my Etsy shop, link down below. Right, that's all of them. Um, and here I just tell you about some exciting stuff. Um, so the 9th of March marks three year anniversary for me, floss tube anniversary. I cannot believe that it's been three years and I've stuck with this. Um, my first video came out on the 9th of March, as I said, three years ago, and I thought I'll do something special and do a little giveaway for you guys. Here I was just checking the date when I uploaded my first video. I highly recommend not watching my first video. Um, <laughs> uh, but I think we're all a little bit critical of our own first videos. Um, also, congratulations if you suffered through an hour of this and you've gone to the end. <laughs> um, so, there will be three different prizes and there will be three different people who can win it. The first prize is this fabric by Coffee Craft Fabrics. Here we are, 32 count even weave. Prize number one. Then prize number two is a floss organiser that I have made. And it's this gorgeous blue one. I love this one. Um, it reminds me of the sea, waves, um, coral reefs. It just reminds me of the sea. I love it so much. It's gorgeous, if I say so myself. Um, it's got a bit of everything, again, double-sided. And then prize number three will be Drum roll again. Ding, 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 ding. It's this kit over here. Now, it's a new kit, I've inherited it. Um, I, I think there's two kits in one, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't want to open it because it's never been opened, so it's one of these, I think, or both of them in there. Um, I've not heard of that company before, but I've inherited it from um, Stitcher's Son, so that's prize number three. So if you would like to be entered into my huge three year <laughs> plus tube anniversary giveaway, um, number one, you have to be subscribed to this channel. You have to like this video and you have to comment which item you would like to get. Either number one, which is the fabric, number two, floss organizer, number three, um, the kit. So for the fabric, mention the word fabric. For the organiser, mention the word organiser with a Z, American writing, rather than with an S. And then, and make sure that you do that correctly, otherwise it won't be picked up. And for the kit, just mention the word kit. You have to be over 18 years old, I'll ship it internationally. Um, and yeah, let's go. Don't, please don't mention um, a giveaway in the comments because that attracts trolls and all of that. Um, so that's the giveaway. I hope you liked all of those items. Uh, there was nothing else beyond this point. I just go into a few life updates. Um, so if you don't want to listen to anything else, if you're just here for cross stitch, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for sticking through this weird video of, you know, a bit of a voiceover, a bit of a knot. Um, and 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back and I will see you next time. If you want to stick around and talk to me about other stuff, um, you're very welcome to. So, life updates. Um, I have been off the last couple of weeks. The plan is, and well, still it was and it still is, to sort out my crafting area. I've been to Ikea twice, uh, building furniture, sort of trying to organise everything better. Um, just kind of trying to sort my life out a little bit, um, catch up with uni work, um, stitch, rest a little bit, um, exercise a little bit, just do that kind of stuff. Um, but that's it really, life updates. Now in terms of what's going on in the world, um, the last four days have been very, very difficult, just like for everybody. Um, I do have some family and they were in Kiev. Um, they're home now, they made it to Lithuania, thankfully. Um, but it's absolutely unimaginable of what's happening out there in the world. Um, I absolutely agree with Anastasia, um, who has a floss chip as well. You know, there is no winner or loser. Um, it's war and, you know, it doesn't matter who wins, who loses. It doesn't matter. People are dying, you know, children are dying. Um, fathers are separated from... Um, their wives and their children because they have to they are taught to stay in the country and fight um, and that is just not okay um, and I don't want to offend anybody um, I don't want to offend any Russians um, I if anything Russians are standing to support Ukraine a leader does not represent the entire nation, it's all I can say, you know. There's been quite a few leaders of different countries that we don't agree with and it's impossible to for them to represent millions of, you know, of people. Um, we all humans, I love all of the people, whether you're Ukrainian, Russian, American, it does not matter. Uh, but lives matter, all of, li all of the lives matter, so war is not okay. Um, so yeah, it's been very difficult and I've, I haven't slept much the last four days. I'm sure it's the same for everybody else. Um, I'm sure we've all gone through the same fear of, you know, watching the news and seeing what's going to happen, what's currently happening, how we can help, what can we do. I highly, highly um, encourage you to stitch um, any charts that have been created by Ukrainian stitches, you can find them on Etsy, just go to the filters and click on Ukraine. Um, they can still, you know, they don't need to do anything, it's all delivered to you automatically, those charts online, um, and hopefully they'll have access to their money very shortly. Um, but that is it, thank you so much for sticking. Um, if you like this video, please press subscribe, like, comment down below um, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen and I hope I will see you again um, I love you all you're all wonderful I love talking to you in the comments um, and I really hope you will come back again on my next video thank you so much bye <laughs>